I wanted to talk a little bit about these two reels from Hatch Outdoors. So this is uh, both um, of these from Hatch Outdoors. These are both the Fanatic series. Uh, here we've got the 7 Plus in the blue, and I think it's clear they call it, but it's blue accents on a silver reel. And this is the 9 Plus on um, red accents on a silver reel. So um, nice thing about Hatch is they come with these really nice um, lined reel cases, neoprene reel cases. They have, there's enough room on the top so they can fit easily onto a rod if um, you're traveling in a boat and you want to bang up your reel. So um, not going to go super detailed on like the technical specs on these because you can read that on the Hatch website. Um, just want to talk about like how I use these reels and my thoughts on the two of them. So start off with the smaller one first. Um, that would be the 7 Plus. Um, like I said, it's from the uh, Fanatic series of Hatch. Uh, these are all made in the USA, out in California. Um, really cool reels. So, whenever you take a look at it at first, you'll see that there's the blue accents in the center hub there, on the counterbalance, a little bit on the, um, the handle, and then also on the back, um, on the drag knob, there's some uh, blue there, and then Hatch up on the top of the reel. So, uh, to get these reels apart, you unscrew this right here in the center, whole piece lifts out. So, there's the drag. Um, it's inside there. It's an easy switch to right hand to left hand through a uh, little Allen key. You pull it out and you flip. There's a, a one-way washer. Super easy to do. Um, cool thing about these reels is that this part of the reel, the, um, the frame, is actually one piece. So you can see the foot, uh, the reel foot itself, is part of the frame. And that is really, really neat. Um, it's durable. It's, uh, th there's no chance of like a, a, a screw or an allen key or something coming loose. So and once you're in there, I mean, it's, that, that reel is uh, it's pretty solid, even with all that metal machined out. Um, so this being the seven plus size, um, I think I have an eight weight floating line on right here right now. Um, I'll use this on my eight weight. Uh, I have it on a six weight switch sometimes. Um, super, super strong drag. Um, down, you can back it all the way off where it's, it, it pretty much doesn't free spool, but it's almost there. You can lock it down and it's, you're not going to pull it. Um, so whenever you go to seat these reels back up, you can see there's a couple little grooves there on the, um, the drag housing that go into the, the spool. Um, just like the frame being one piece, these spools are also all one piece um, outside of like the counterbalance, the set screw and the handle, but the actual body of the frame is all one piece. So it kind of sits in there, tighten down, and then you got your reel. So um, this reel, like I mentioned here, um, it's I think yeah, this one's set up for left hand wind. So um, incoming, very nice, really not a lot of sound to them. Um, some people like that, some people don't, but just the amount of, it's almost zero startup inertia um, is, is I think the technical term, but what that really means is whenever you go to drag having pulled like there's not much this is kind of cranked down right now if I back it off um, it's really I mean, it's, it's almost nothing to, to get it to move um, you go and you crank down that drag all the way and it's a it's a struggle um, to get that to put to, to go um, so really really lots of taller I mean you can see just to wind that down that was probably four turns full turns um, from zero to all the way on, so there's a lot of variations in between. Um, like I said, it's a really, really neat system that there's just one piece, the foot is, is part of the cage. Um, the only thing is in cold weather, you'll see that there is a little bit of a lip where the um, frame goes into the spool. Um, if you're fishing in cold weather, that can freeze up. You can get some water built up and get some freeze in there, um, but a quick turn and it's gone. Uh, super solid. These things are bomb-proof reels. Um, love this one. The other one I have is the 9 Plus, so that's a little bit larger. You can see the, the differences in sizes there. Um, so with the 9 Plus, it is a, uh, it, it, it's a bigger reel. Um, I had it for a 10 weight. Um, I use this one for albacore fishing a good bit. Um, also had it as kind of a backup for a spay reel. Um, I like the, the click, click and paw reels, but I had this as just, you know, it's not going to fail and, and you have it as a backup. So again, same kind of setup. Um, exactly the same. I think all the way down to their smallest reels and up to like their massive ones. They're all they're all the same build, just scaled up and down. Uh, one piece design, really nice, just machined. 
uh, I don't even, it's some kind of super high grade aluminum. I'm sure the tech specs are on the website, but these things don't fail. Um, that's the thing I've been in, uh, I was in a boat, albacore fishing a couple years ago, and there was a, another big name reel that was in, being used by another guy, and the thing pretty much blew up uh, on a fish. Just things started shooting off it, um, locked up. I've never heard, seen, or had a problem with ever with a hatch reel. Um, like I said, this one's in the red. This one's the blue. Really nice reel cases that come with them as well. Um, and they're super cool guys too, that based out of California, US made. Um, it's, a, it's a rarity, I think, that you get uh, fishing companies manufacturing their products in the United States to their specifications, and they're not just ordering them from a factory and, and slapping their logos on them. So really nice reels. Um, their website has all the information. Um, it, it'll be in the description. Um, if you guys want to check it out. Any questions or comments, please use the comment section down below. But here you go, the Hatch uh, Fanatic, the 7 Plus and the 9 Plus.